Namaskara, Vanakkam. Today I'm in deep in rural India on a journey to meet a very unique community. Some call them Indian Africans, but they are popularly known as the Sidi community. This will be very interesting and insightful. Stay tuned as we go and meet this community. Welcome to another episode of Inspire for Travel. Now this will be a very insightful and interesting video today. I'm covering a unique community here in India, in the state of Karnataka. I'm about around 20 kilometers away from Yelapur and I'm at this village you'll find a community that is known as the Sidi community. Now it has been said that the word Sidi came from the Arab Arabic word Sayyids and there have been a lot of influential and important Sayyids or Sidi people here in India for centuries. Now today you will find them dotted around various parts of India in the state of Karnataka, in Kerala, Gujarat and also in Goa. So today we're in uh, Karnataka, so let's go in and meet some of these people and find out about their life. What do they think about li living here in India? Are they indigenous to India? Do they come from Africa? Because there have been many theories about their origins. So let's go in and talk to them. All right, so we're walking in, we're walking in. Uh -huh. Ella, okay. Hello, hello. Yeah. Namaskar. Namaskar. Yeah. How are you? Fine. All right. My name is uh, Imani. My name is Agnel. Uh, say your name. My name is Agnel. Agnel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Agnel. Okay, so I'm just uh, touring the village today, getting to know the uh, community. Okay. And um, could you tell us a little bit about the city people that uh, live here in uh, this village? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, how many, how many uh, CD community uh, people live in this? There is maybe it's, uh, 15 uh, villages there. Okay. Now, Siddhi Janam. Siddhi. Siddhi. Siddhi, yeah. Okay. 56, 56. village. Okay. All. Right. So there's around 56 uh, villages or uh, uh, people around here? Siddhi. Siddhi, yeah? Yeah, Siddhi only. Okay. And what, what, what is the main religion of the uh, Siddhi people here in uh, Karnataka? Main religion? There is too much, it's there, Siddhi people. Say. Oh, okay. There is uh, Tower Katta, okay. Hallyada, okay. and uh, Angkola, and Shirshi. Okay, okay. And are they are they mainly Christian, Hindus, Muslim? Muslim, Hindu, all. Muslim. All the. Not uh, only Christians here is there fifty six. Fifty six, okay. Here, and uh, Muslim is there is there two and three villages there. Okay, okay. Two oh. three villages. Yeah. Muslim Christian, Muslim Mo city. Muslim cities, okay. And you also have Hindu cities as well. Uh, Hindu city here is not there. Maybe okay. it's Angkola this side. All right. Arabel. Okay, okay, okay. This side here is not there. All right. So we learned that there are various uh, people who follow different religions within the city community. And like the elder was saying, there are Muslims, there are Christians, and there are also Hindus. All right. I wanted to ask you, uh, what is the uh, origins of the city people? Do they come from Africa or they, have they always been in India? What, what do you th think about that? Before is there Africa. Africa? Yeah, there is uh, British, uh, British uh, time. Yeah. He is bringing Goa. This working. Okay. Working. This time British is uh, this. Uh, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. I'm sure you are not going to go to Independence time. Yeah. There is uh, running this British people. British, okay. 
this time is uh, people say the pre-current people is there this running this we are coming to the forest forest to the forest okay forest, uh, forest oh. is yeah, yeah yeah so they were running away from the british people the people the british people is gone oh they're gone okay it's gone yeah okay there is one Africa. Uh, yeah. There is British people. There is going. They left. There is uh, in uh, this uh, African people is going in the jungle. Jungle area. Okay, okay, okay. It's so, all right. So we learn a little bit from what he, uh, he was saying. So they originally from Africa. Africa, yeah. But they they came here during the you say during the British times. British time to work. Working is working in Goa. Uh, we are working in Goa. And after the British people left, left after they, 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 they ran to the forest areas yeah, yeah. here in uh, different states of India, like Karnataka. Yeah, Karnataka. Okay. okay, all right. So that's very, very interesting. So would you, would you say that you, are, you prefer India or Africa? Now it's waiting in the India, no? Now it's yes. India, yeah? There is where India is okay. Okay. Now it's... Yeah, you're happy in India? Happy. Okay. So, so would you like to return to Africa one day or you want to stay in India? I don't know. My mother, father, all is where uh, they're here. That's oh. why... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So India is home now? Home now. Okay, it's all right. Okay. All right. So mother, father, his family, they're all born in India? So as the elder was saying, India is now home. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. You want to say a few words? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> English? No, you can speak. It's, you can translate. Okay. So, uh, what, what, is your, uh, uh, what is your name? Shimon. Shimon. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right. And what uh, work he does in the village? There is working in the Shetha Kamatatri. He's working in the farm. The farm? Yeah. Okay. So is farming one of the main uh, 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 jobs here in the village? Village and the farm are the working. Only oh. rice. Uh, this, uh, rice. rice. Oh, like the, the, the paddy fields. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, wow, wonderful. And how long has he been doing now the farming? Uh, long is uh, 63 years. 63 years. Okay, no problem. Long time. Okay, wow, long time. All right, thank you so much for talking to me. All right. So we learn, of course, guys, a lot of people here um, rely on farming to do work, from what I've been told. And there are a lot of paddy fields um, in the area here. So that's, that's really interesting. So we got some. Our people here. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yes, I'm okay. And what is your name? My name is Margaret. Margaret? Margaret. Margaret, okay. Yes. Nice name. Thank you. Yeah. And what what do you do in the uh, community? I finished my LLB in Darwad. Okay. I'm working in Bangalore now. Bangalore, oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now I came for holiday. Okay. All right. And uh, w what type of job in Bangalore? I'm an advocate. Okay. I do criminal yeah. and civil practice. Oh in wow, wow! In in so you're 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 a lawyer. Yeah, I am a lawyer. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, okay. So I mean, how 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 did you find you know coming from you you originally from this community? Yes, I'm from city community. City community. And was it difficult for you to study law? Yeah, because um, we don't know English. We talk in our. Uh, Konkani language in home. Okay. So we have to learn first English and Kannada. Wow. Then we look different like others. Oh. They will think we are from Africa. Yeah. But originally we are from in India now. Okay. We have our identity card, voter ID, and all. For India, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, now that you, I just want to zero in on one thing you said. So it was very hard um, initially for you to learn English. Yes. So, at what point in your life did you start learning the English language? Was it in primary school, secondary uh, no, school? No, till 10th I studied in Kannada medium. Okay. In okay. So, after that I joined the LLB in Darwad. Yeah. I started there to learn English. Okay. So, it will be tough for me, yeah. but now it's okay. Now it's okay. Wow. So, you heard it guys. Well done. Um, she's a lawyer and, it, of course, at home here people don't generally speak English. They speak uh, the Konkani language, 
all right so she still persevered and she achieved her goals and now she's a lawyer and she's working in bangalore so that's really good so you also said um, you have your identity card for india now yeah. so would you say you are indian or african originally we belongs to africans but now we are uh, indians because we have our yeah. citizenship indian citizenship C indian citizens okay so would you say that you are you are happy to stay in india or you want yeah, to go back to africa we are happy to stay in india because almost 40 to 50 years is fast over yeah, yeah. we are staying in india so we are allowed to stay in here only. stay in india only <laughs> wow okay all right and let me ask you um this question how how do you feel you're treated by the other people in the indian society Sorry, I'm do, do you feel that you they, they respect you other people in the society some are like uh, don't know we are staying in india yeah they think we are coming from africa we don't know canada we don't know english yeah so they will think that we don't know anything about indians right so they will treat some like uh, we are uh, foreigners mm, foreigners yeah. right so but no it's okay we are uh, adjusting with them adjusting with them yeah because you can speak the language as well yeah okay that's really good and in terms of um r uh, religion from your community are, are people mainly christians uh no some are christians some are muslims some are hindu okay so uh, so to other, other cultures. all the religion they practice mm. all right thank you so much for talking thank with you. me all right so guys we've we, we've heard a lot from what you've said um in terms of you know living here in india initially some people may think they're foreigners but they can speak the the languages here in india and slowly and slowly things are getting better and she's a, a lawyer here in bangalore all right we have someone here hello mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, how are you? I am fine. You're fine, great. And what do you do? Are you a student? No. Okay. I, I remember you were saying to me uh, before camera that you speak English a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you studied English at uh, secondary school or? No, she studied in hotel management. Okay. Hotel management. Hotel management. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So would you like to work in a hotel one day? All right, all right, no problem. And what is your name? Nitya. 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 Ah. Okay, nice to meet you, Nitya. Yes. All right, so that's Nitya. She studied uh, hotel management. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. And then we have my friend here who is <laughs> <he's> taking <laughs> me around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, good. You okay? Yeah. And, um, yeah, start by telling us your name. Uh, my name is Ramnath Sidi. Ramnath. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm from a uh, different village called Talikindi. Okay. Uh, which is uh, 30 kilometers from here. 30 kilometers, yeah. yeah. I live with my uh, family. Uh, yeah. My father and sister and me, my child. Okay. So I'm a social uh, activist and uh, professionally I'm a messy counselor. Okay. A therapist. Therapist. So I work for my community. Yeah. Uh, basically, I support for the education to uh, the community, mm -hmm. and also I work with the community on various issues. Uh, especially, basically, I work for the education and yeah, the organizing the community. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So we 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 have a social worker in the house, and he works um for the uh, community here in uh, uh, the his, his state and um, you'll tell us a little bit more so what are some of the challenges you have um, with the work that you do here um, basically uh, when I do for the education um, there are a lot of competition now okay um, so from the childhood uh, there are a lot of some kind of uh, discrimination discrimination and, and the challenges of uh, now the Education quality is going high, but uh, we are not able to reach that level. Wow. That is another challenges. So when we support the students and when we go to the school, uh, we don't know what is next right. because our parents are not educated. So we don't have any dream. So for so other students are going, so we are just going with them. Okay. And one day uh, when we finish our education, we have no guarantee that we get the job. Okay. Because there are a lot of uh, competition in that. Right. So that is one of the challenges we are facing. Because because of that reason, there are a lot of dropouts. Dropouts, dropouts yeah. Are coming. 
so we are looking for the opportunities wherever we get whether it's in the sports quota or government's quota whatever so we try to get that and push it our children there for they get the education the education so, yeah. right okay yeah. all right and um it, it, i mean in, in so far in terms of what uh, you do uh, have you helped um, some uh, CD pe people from the CD community to achieve their goals, maybe to get a job or stuff yeah. like that? So, a lot of students completed their uh, education. Uh, this Margaret, one of our students, okay. and now she's allocated that. We feel very good. Yeah, yeah. And also we have uh, four more other students who's working already. One is working in High Court, High Court. City, and okay. uh, there are few others who are also working. Okay. So we supported them to get education. Yeah. And some of the completed pharmacy in uh, uh, medical line, they are yeah. also working. Yeah. And some of the completed MSW social work and they are working in some companies and uh, NGOs. But uh, getting into the government is uh, really difficult. The so we are just trying to get some in a police the constable level that is also now a lot of competition over there so mainly we uh, since we are uh, not in we are, since we don't have a quality of education so we are finding difficult because when you want to go to any job there will be always a written exam and also it depends on how much you got marks no. so depend on that yeah. we, we selected okay so that's why we are still trying to Try trying best. our level best to get the job okay but uh, there are some few our elders uh, are in a uh, government uh, they are not uh, went to the uh, education quota but a sports quota in 2006 uh, like uh, 1986 the indian government bought uh, one special game area so they selected some cities around uh, 25 30 among them, some of are uh, performed very well in the sports. Uh, they went achieved so many medals and all. Okay. So the India government they gave them job, not in terms of uh, education, but uh, since they are good in sports, they got uh, job job in the railway and the police department. Well, okay, okay, okay. In the post office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so th those people that you're talking about, did they get to? Uh represent India in a different country? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, there is one uh, woman called Kamala Sidi. She represented a uh, Polish maid okay. in some country, I don't know, remember. Mm -hmm. But she achieved uh, seven medals in one time. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so, that, that's good. One of the things you were saying to me is that you feel that a radio station is needed. Yeah. <coughs> could, you yeah. could you tell us uh, why you think a radio station could help the <coughs> community here? Yeah, that is one of the, my big dream because uh, in 2003 we became scheduled tribe. Uh, scheduled tribe means you will especially government have a lot of benefits for the community. But since we our communities are in the deep in the forest and uh, away from the town and also the information is not reaching them on time. So for example, there is maybe someone is announced uh, scholarship for the education. And there always there will be a date for that, you know, the end date, like from, for example, 5th to 10th, maybe 5 days. Within that day, we have to apply. Then only you can receive it. But the information will reach very late to the community. Right. So they are not able to uh, get the scholarship. It's in all way. Yeah. It's every benefits are going like that only. So the radio station, which can help them to receive every day the information from the department. So what I can do is uh, we start radio station and we'll collect the information every day and fast to the through the FM to the community. So every day the particular time they will sit even though they are in the forest or anywhere they will sit and hear and they will know what is what are the documents we should get ready and what is the last date for the apply and all so that they can come up and apply and get the benefits. That's the reason we are planning to start a radio station. radio station yes so the information can yeah, get yeah. to the various people yeah, we are a lot of having the lock of information so we want to get the okay information to the right community so that people can get all the benefits and the education benefits and all this That's okay all, all right so guys you've heard that how um, a radio station will be of uh, benefit to the people here in the community to get information out about various scholarships and different things like that to um, help various people throughout various city, village here um, in this area. 
Is there anything else you would like to add to what we've been talking about? Yeah, uh, the CVs are actually have a lot of talents, but not able to recognize. For example, the sports, they're very good in the sports. But they reach to uh, some level and they will drop out from there and they'll come back and still they work again in the village. So those things make us very feel very bad because you know, uh, Hussein Bolt in Jamaica is yes. very famous and everyone knows. Yeah. Uh, Siddi can also be a Hussein Bolt when they get real support. Right. As like Jamaica support through Hussein Bolt. Right. So that is the things we are looking for. It's not only sports in every level. So every. education we can really study. but. No, the financial issues and the opportunities and see uh, these days we need a, a education, uh, English education otherwise we can't co compete with others but to going to the English medium schools is again the challenges of finance oh, wow. you know? so that are the challenges are, uh, um, we have so one day if we get someone who can support for the education like having our own systems where yeah. we can support our children so we can also see some of them coming with the doctor level medical line engineer line and everywhere and at least we can see some cities working in the some department yes now we don't have anyone working in the department wow maybe in the future at least after five years if we see some one people working in the one department that can help the community right yeah. okay okay yeah, well that, that's very interesting. And so like you're saying, English is a problem yeah. to some degree. So say like the, just the local schools around here. Yeah, local schools, what, government schools. Would they just be teaching in Canada? Canada and the second language will be Hindi. So basically they teach in Canada. Oh, wow. Okay. So they don't really get to learn English. the language at an early age. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. And the, the schools here, if you wanted to go to an English medium school, do you have to um, pay to do so? It's not yeah. government funded? Yeah, no, government doesn't fund for that. Okay. So we, uh, personally, we have to pay a lot of money. So this, which is not possible for the city company. Because they all cities are work as a daily labor, like uh, wages. The okay. 300, 400, 500, that's all. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to the um, the English medium school, there are donation itself maybe that lacks together and the fees and the bus fees and all those things it will be too much for them too much yeah so just not able to get it all right all right guys so we've heard a little bit from what you say now he's a social worker he works a lot with and I, I, I need to learn Konkani you know yeah yeah yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I need to learn <laughs> Okay, well, I start off by saying maybe Namaskara. Namaskara. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's your name? Sunanda. Sunanda, okay. Everyone, this is Sunanda. And Sunanda, what uh, job you do in the community? Teacher. Oh, you're a teacher? Yeah. Also. Small, Small children, yeah. Small children. Oh, okay, okay. In the village. village. She's from Tawarkata yeah. village. Okay. Uh, they have small. Uh, uh, and then what do we call okay so you are lkg student okay so she's teaching okay. most of the students are all cd full of complete name full of all cds are students students are all cd cds yeah so they choose the cd woman to work there okay 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 and uh how long have you been a teacher at the school 15, 15 years wow okay and what are some of the challenges you face as a teacher working at that school? So, uh, children are coming every day to school and they learn what I teach. Yeah. Uh, that is the thing is happening. Oh, oh, okay. So, not really much no, problem. No. Okay, that's fine. That's great. And is it mainly in Konkani, your lessons or? Canada. Oh, oh, in Canada. Oh, wow. Hegedira. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the languages are that. that they teach in the school well they meet the language of instruction for the lessons is in Canada and it's a preschool for younger children and it's mainly for the people of the city community that goes to the school all right is there anything else you would like to tell us <laughs> yeah.
No. Uh, I want. I want to ask. Uh, um, what do you think about Africa? Africa, we get to be very happy. I think a lot of Africa, we have to be very happy. दुसरे जाती ची कश मिक्स होना चढ़ू ने जिलगो ने मिक्स कर so she saying yeah um, we are all one uh, they are in living in a different continent africa we are living here uh, if they could have come together if, if we could have been gathered it would have been very nice and see other community like uh, indians they um, even though they are staying in a far away they come together and they will exchange the like marriage ceremonies and uh, they may give the daughter to here they may take uh, so that's kind of exchanges as there if it is happen between us also africans and us like marriages together and all it could have been very good mm -hmm. so that's i feel very bad sometime uh, so we will be the relatives one day okay. because they are staying there and we are here we don't know now okay we are, we are relatives or what not but we look same yeah. but if we started communicating with them coming together with them then we can be a relative so all right okay that's very interesting so yeah there have been a separation and of course they don't uh, know because they're in india and of course africans are in africa so there haven't been much uh, contact or communication yeah. for a long time but it would have been nice if they could have still connect with each other Yeah, so, because he's saying we all look same. We have our color to the same. Yeah, and hairstyle is same. Everything, but we are far away. We're we far away. Together. That's right. There has been like a separation. Yeah. So do you do do you guys have an idea of like maybe which part of Africa your your ancestors re, uh, came or came from? I'm just an Indian now. I'm just talking about the Adjie Adjie. Yeah. ओके All right so not where which part yeah okay so that's interesting we've learned a little Yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. So is a uh, chicken curry the main uh, food you like here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, uh, tori tori, just a little bit. Okay, thank you. All right. So look at this guys, we've got ourselves uh, some curry and some food. Very well